Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, I've got a good one for you today. Friday's um, main event on the um, Golden Boy card. It's a good, nice little fight. Oscar Colazzo and uh, Gerardo Zapata. Uh, really interesting fight. I'm a big fan of Colazzo. I think this is going to be a really, really intriguing fight. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing, but I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. It's always money to be made. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing every single week. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Get you all the perks. Get you everything that you'll, you'll need to make money betting on the sport of boxing. We're going to go live uh, today after the Pro Box card, so uh, be prepared for that. Uh, all right. Also, oh, join, join Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is also in the banner below. Just $5 a month. Gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book anything. Ask me any fight. We also take a look at the props. Later on when the props drop, uh, we'll take a look at the props, and we'll make you mo more money on that as well. A lot of times I make my video on DraftKings has it put out their prop bets yet so if you join the patreon we show you how to make money on the props as well all right um also subscribe to the other channel texas boxing scene on youtube that's texas boxing scene all proceeds go to autism research and recovery let's get into today's show oscar colasso and zapata is an interesting fight you have two southpaws very different stylistically colasso i think is a pound for pound type of fighter he doesn't have the resume yet. He's not a pound for pound guy yet. But I think ultimately he has the ability and the skill set that he one day can be on that list. Great footwork. Excellent movement. Good athlete. He's, he's athletic. He's bouncy. He's got terrific feet. He's got great feet. His footwork reminds me a little bit of Bam Rodriguez and Lomachenko from the South Coast stands. Great timing and accuracy from the outside. He's super sharp from the outside. If the fight's on the outside, that's where Zapata would be at his strength, and he's still going to lose that fight there. So accurate. He's got great angles. He's so accurate from the outside. He's got great angles to get on the inside. He's a really, really complete offensive fighter. He, he likes to be on the front foot. He likes to throw the lead right hook, too, and, and that's money. The straight left from the outside is money. He gets in and out really well. Like His footwork is, is tremendous. His ability to get in, get out, make you miss, pivot, turn in. It's never straight in, never straight out. It's never through the front door. He's always using the side door. His feet are great. His power is really good. His his speed is excellent. This is a – Oscar Colazzo is a – Colazzo is a really, really good fighter. Good pop. Like I said, good pop in both fists. Both both fists. I was going to say specifically the left, but he's got good pop in the right hook too. Good volume puncher. He keeps on. He keeps up the pressure. He traps you. His footwork is great. He keeps you on the ropes. He keeps you on the ropes. He can really do what he wants with you. He cuts off the ring and, and uses the ring to his advantage exceptionally well. He's an A-plus fighter. Like There's not much else I can say about Oscar Colasso. He's an A-plus fighter. He's an excellent counter puncher. He's good mobility. He counters really well. He had head, body, mixes everything up. This is he's an excellent offensive fighter, and he makes you uncomfortable. He, he, he the ring generalship, the, the ability for him to get the fight on his terms is second to none. He keeps pressure on, keeps you on the ropes. Good combination puncher. He's an aggressive offensive fighter and complete. He's complete offensive. He could jab a little more. He does have a nice little jab. He could, he could fire it off a little more, but I mean, mostly he uses his feints. He uses his footwork to keep you in the corner, and then he. He unleashes combinations. He, he traps you. He keeps you in. He's a really, really good offensive fighter. There's not much else that can be said about him offensively. Zapata, another southpaw, not a speed demon. Long and rangy. He's 5'5", five, five, which is kind of tall for the division. He'll use well, five, five, five is tall. He'll use his jab well. He'll keep it out there. He'll, he'll pull it. He can, he's pretty good from the outside. He likes to be on the outside. He likes to use his range. So, he, I mean, he kind of uses what his natural ability and his natural gift is, which is his length. I mean, he's got poor balance. He's easy to hit. He's easy to counter. He fought Santiago uh, for a world title. Got disqualified on something that seems really ridiculous. He hit him on the back of the head. He did hit him on the back of the head. Santiago went down. It seemed like it hurt him. It didn't seem like he was acting. Second round, you know, he was winning the fight at that point. And – 
he went down, he couldn't continue, and they disqualified, which I, I thought was weird. So uh, officials are probably going to lose for that fight, which was, I, I thought, a really weird decision. Because the accidental foul looked like to me should have been ruled a no contest. It wasn't. Uh, but he's just too much one shot at a time. He's slow. He's plotting. He comes at you straight, straight, straight. I just don't think he's going to have much of a chance in this fight. He's very hittable. He's a slow, plotting, in front of you type of guy. He, w- When he throws off his combinations, he's out of position. He's easy to tag. It's defensively, he's a mess. His feet are a mess. He, he's a pretty good offensive fighter from range. He, he throws the uppercut from range. He does a lot of pretty decent things in range. But he likes to sit in exchanges, and he's going to be I, – I don't know that he's the bigger hitter. He's definitely not the fastest fighter. I don't like how this fight goes from at distance. I don't like how it goes from on the inside. He's just not he, – he's a decent fighter. He's just not at this level. He's not at the level of a Colasso, and I think that's going to be – I think that's going to be obvious from early in the fight. You know, I think this is the, – you know, they say that there's levels to this. And I think these two are, are completely different levels. So let's take a look – at the odds on this fight. Let's take a look. Here we go. Where is this fight? There it is. There's just not a lot of money on this. You know, I, I like uh, Kayatso by stoppage. It's minus 2000 It's a $150 bet. It's going to make you. What was that? $11, $16. There's just not a lot of money. The odds on this indicate to you what type of fight this is going to be. You, know, you might want to add Oscar Kayatso by KO to a parlay. It's not a bad bet. I like uh, Kayatso by, by stoppage. I'd make it my smaller bet. It's going to make you $11 bet. I still him at minus 450. It's a lot, you know. Um, over under six and a half is a little risky. You know, I think this is a mid round stop. So I think they're right on that. There's just not a lot of money to be made on this fight. This might be something that you want to add to a parlay. Colazzo by stop is Colazzo on the money line. Colazzo on the money line is, is 20 to 1. Uh, that's going to happen. He's going to win the fight, obviously. Uh, Zapata is plus 1100. He has no chance. I just see this as a total mismatch. So take Colazzo on the money line, full bet, $100, and then take Colazzo by stoppage uh, to get you 50 bucks. He's making 11 bucks. So a $150 bet is going to make you $16.11. Guys, there's just not a ton of money on this fight. And uh, this is the main event, so I wanted to break it down for you guys. And I want to say this is something that you can add to a parlay. If you want to just make your odds Odds a little better. You can add either one of these. I think you can rest safely that both of these things are going to happen here. I think you're going to get Colazzo by stoppage. I, I don't, and Colazzo is obviously going to win. So I, I think you're safe with either one of these. Adding them to a parlay, betting it on its face, it's not going to make you a ton of money. All right, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'll show you how to bring down the house. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's $5 a month. It's also in the banner below. Join the Patreon. Get props. Get all, all the latest betting information on boxing. Show your support for the Boxing Bookie. It is May, June 5th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.